today's, uh, the title for today's sermon is The Power and Purpose of Praise and Worship. Yes, the power and purpose of praise and worship. Let us pray. Thank you, dear most kind and gracious and heavenly Father. We bless your name and honor your name for your privilege that you allowed us to come in your home today to worship you and give you all the glory only you are worthy of. Amen. I ask that you, Holy Spirit, that you please hide me behind the cross that your children may see you, not me, and use me to speak to your children today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, the power and purpose of praise and worship. I love the title because God gives us weapons to use when we are in battle. And one of those weapons is praise. The definition of praise is an act of worship or acknowledgement by acknowledging the virtue of somebody else or an entity. Basically, praise is giving glory and honor to God. I have three points for you. There uh, should be up there. My first point uh, is... When we praise God, we praise God for his pleasure, just his pleasure. And when we see that in Revelation 4, verse 11, praise is for God's pleasure. In other words, like when we ask you to praise God, we're not asking you to do it just because you don't feel like it or, you know, I'm not in the mood right now or whatever the case may be. But it's because it's for God's pleasure because he's done so much for us that he is worthy of all praise, of all glory. We shouldn't be thinking about us. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's for the Lord Almighty God, for his pleasure and his pleasure alone. My second point is we praise God just because. We praise him just because, as it says in Psalms 18, verse 3, if somebody can look up Psalms 18, verse 3 for me, please. Psalms 18, verse 3. Anybody can read it for me. Psalms 18, verse 3. Yes. It says that um, when we praise God, we praise Him just because He is worthy. Because everyone know, here knows that, yes, God is worthy. By the, just waking up here this morning, able to breathe on your own, you're not hooked to a machine. God is worthy of all praise. Amen. The second sub-point is Psalms 22, verse 3. It has different translations. Some Bible, when you read it, it says, God enthroned in Israel, or sometimes you'll see he inhabits the praises of his people. When I was sitting there looking up the word inhabit, I realized that um, when we praise, the Bible says when we praise God, he inhabits, basically he abides in your praise. If you really want to draw the presence of God down in the midst of you, you begin to praise. That's how you draw, because the word of God is true. If he says that he inhabits, he lives. God loves praise so much, he comes down in the midst of your praise and inhabits. That's why we should wake up every morning with a praise and a worship in your heart. And say, thank you God for waking me up this morning. Because when you sleep, you are in the very image of death. Okay? Basically, John, I saw the dormit you can use your limb, you have the activities of your feet, you're not in a wheelchair. For God, we are to give God praise because He is worthy. The third sub point is we praise God just because He has done mighty acts. We're going to find that in Psalms 50, verse 2. If somebody can please read Psalms 50, verse 2. No matter what you're going through, praise God through it. He has the power to turn it around for you. If you don't believe me, ask Joshua. Joshua, I need, I need, the I need you to come up and testify. I'm calling on Joshua right now. Joshua, God told Joshua to walk around the walls of Jericho, the city, once a day for six days. Come on, Mama Joshua. I don't want to be rude, but I got to put my two cents in this one. So I'm sitting there reading. I'm like, wait a minute. God told Joshua to go to war against a fortified city with big walls, and you want him to go and walk and dance around the city? And I was thinking, like Mika would say, where did I do that at? <laughs> what? Sometimes God will ask us to do things that makes no sense. <laughs> and let me tell you in a little secret, because whenever you see God ask you something that makes no sense, 
He's going to do something big for you. Because you got to remember that. In Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9, God says that my way are not your way. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Because he told Joshua to walk over. And I'm sitting there thinking, what was the children of, 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 of Jericho thinking? What, are you going to blow us up with your trumpets? You know? And God sometimes, another example of him asking people to do, do something that makes no sense. And he came and delivered them in a marvelous way. David, really God? You want me to go fight against a giant with five little rocks? And what happened? He had the victory. Okay? Uh, you want me to, Moses, to split the sea with just lifting a, a rock? Really? Seriously? And what happened? It makes no sense. Always pay attention to God. When you're walking with God, you have to know his ways. Whenever you're about to give, he will ask you because he want to see your faith. You know, it makes no sense, but I'm trusting you, Lord, so I can go do this. I'm trusting you. Like Gideon, you want me to go fight against my enemies. I have 30,000 people. You're telling me it's too many people to go with 300 people? That's our God. That's why the world doesn't understand us as Christians. They don't get us. Because God, like I said, God's ways are not our ways. So what we have to do is obey, say amen, and have the victory. Because God just, God will turn it around. Because like I said about Joshua, and on the seventh day, uh, he marched around the city seven times. And what did God say? God didn't say, you know, uh, break the wall, take a rock. God says, shout a shout of praise. And when they shout that shout of praise, the walls came tumbling down. So it's the same for you here. Whatever wall was blocking you from getting the victory, when you pray to God like Joshua did, that wall will come down for you. Amen. Just like uh, it did for Joshua. Whatever wall that was blocking you from immigration, that wall will come down. Whatever wall stop you from getting that, that deliverance, that healing, the wall will come down. He fell to bed on Joshua, and everything came down, and Joshua had the victory. If you still don't believe me, I'm calling two more witnesses. Paul and Silas. Amen. Paul and Silas was in prison. Paul had a Silas in prison. Paul and Silas were 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 in prison. Mais death row avec un uh, autre lot avec notre ici c'est pas même pas ici a you will not ever forget 44 ans pour vivre dans prison à tout jour mais notre lot elle est arrêté au pour chrétien ou pas tout le kilo ça bon oui basically c'est next day ou ta mort OK so je suis tellement pensé toujours ma pensé toujours quand il me dit si c'est moi qui était dans prison moi même on ne tape pas trop plein parce que you know you didn't do nothing wrong oh god they arrested me for you you know why did you let them arrest me and I'm sitting there, I probably would have been sitting there making an appeal to God. I would have asked him, Pastor Jubini, you've been here, man, fed with that belong. Pastor, it can happen. Pastor Joshua Talbate has like 8 million. You tell me, Lord, no get proof why I'm not going to be able to do that. Joshua Talbate has like 8 million. Pour le fin de tout le temps, il y a carrément de Joshua qui est là, il est là, il est là. Il est là, il est là, il est là, il est là. Il est là, 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 il est là. Lower on our main page, the secret is make sure on our main page have a good view. Amen. Because because Joshua Paul has a soleil soleil today, and toute la journée on veut m'envoyer des batailles jusqu'à détruire un million. Car le monde est nous servir. Est-ce que le monde est sacré fait ça pour Joshua Paul même lui même? Le bagage est allé qui sans pouvoir. Le monde est posé où est qui est nous yet. Amen. Nous passons pour passer même pour voir ça Joshua gagne nous gagne tout. Okay. Quand il y a même dans Joshua, et nous disons que je suis pensé que c'est ça que je prié. Nous disons que je ne suis pas fait de nuit, parce que depuis le jour, je suis mort. Je me suis regardé la Bible et dit, pour l'instant, c'est le jour de midnight. Au lieu pour prier, je suis mort. Je suis commencé à chanter, prier, danser, bye, bon Dieu, gloire, faire tout le bail en dedans. Et puis, je me suis dit, la Bible comme ça, la terre commence à trembler. Parce que les présences de mon Dieu paraissent, mais mon taille, je vais aller la tête, je vais mettre la tête. Je ne vais pas à quoi. They cannot hold the presence of God. You back and come, so you come and tremble. And you just go and let the blood just go and let the air come and tremble. To prison court you move. It's the same as what you. 
Si vous avez un problème, vous n'avez pas de droit. Quand vous avez fait un pouvoir qui empêche de passer des examens à l'école, la ouvert. That door for your healing will be open. Whatever door qui est close pour ça, empêche de marier, de brasser, de salir, pas de porte porte l'éternel pas de ouvrir. Parce que vous faites pour Joshua, vous faites pour Moses, vous faites pour Esther, vous faites pour Paul et Salis, vous faites pour vous. Parce que même si vous avez la guerre, vous avez même la chose, elle est mort. Look at summarize um, uh, this with Psalms 34, 1 and 3. When David says, I will bless the Lord at all times. 